Coach Karen Booker joins us now. You went over the century mark today Woo. and uh, got Thank a good you. win. Yeah, that was fun. Um, you know, we had had good practices, yeah. and that's what I tell them. If we string together a few good practices, then we're going to play like we practice. And, you know, I think we and, – and we've been talking about just trying to play Trebekah basketball, mm -hmm. play the way we can play. And so we want to just keep, keep that up. You know, we'll take them – as they come, we got, you know, we got a lot of good teams coming up. Yeah, yep. And we got to be ready for them. And, and we can't get too far ahead. Um, we want to oh, yeah. just focus on whoever's next. Yeah. I want you to figure out what Amaya Thomas and Faith Wilkin had for breakfast and make sure they eat it every Saturday. I want what they're having yes. is all I have to say. <laughs> so um, Here's some highlights of Faith. She hit seven threes. It was a career high, 27 points. And Maya Thomas with a double-double, I think 15 points and 11 yes. rebounds. So, again, talk about them in particular a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah, we do have to duplicate their uh, pregame mail and um, make sure they're getting that in. Um, they both just play with so much energy. And even with the press, I think as we press that, uh, you know, that, that led into their energy. But Faith is a tremendous shooter. Uh, I'm glad to see her showing what she can do. I know the numbers haven't necessarily shown how great of a shooter she is. So, you know, finally people are going to see. And, um, and, and that's, just, that's just what she's capable of. Amaya, the yeah. hustle. She yeah. has been hustling like crazy in practice day in, day out. And she is such a tremendous athlete. Um, yeah. And we, we've seen, we've seen uh, uh, glimpses of it. Yeah. And so now it's a matter of her just putting it all together and showing it with more consistency. I liked the way Amaya came in today, and she's done this most of the time. She came in running. Yes. It wasn't, wasn't like I'm going to warm up. Yes, she yes. She came in running, contributing, and it wasn't just points and rebounds. It was good shots, tip balls, yes. uh, steals, yes. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Now, Jada, Jada uh, could have – possibly gone division one track athlete mm -hmm. uh we think amaya could be equally as fast yeah and yes. so she is starting to play with the kind of effort that we've been looking for and with some of these freshmen they just didn't understand what it was going to take mm -hmm. to play on this level yeah and the effort that it would take every day so now they're start the, the light bulb is, is on they're starting to get it and I, I, I just think a number of them are going to keep surprising us. That's my hope. Absolutely. Coach, great win. You get to get some more home games, but some more road games coming up too. So yes. you got to be ready. And it looks like the team's headed in the right direction. Yes, we hope so. We hope so. We know Tiffin's going to be tough. So oh, absolutely. we got to be ready for that. Absolutely. Got to go to them again. That's Karen Booker, women's basketball coach here at Trebek. I'm Greg Ruff. Men's basketball coming up next. You're watching Trebek basketball on the Great Midwest Digital Network.